morning everyone and welcome. We are now going to introduce today the ESPOGEN project on the internationalization on Spanish genetics, Life of Genetics from Spain, which is a platform that appears to provide continuity to the project. So today in our press conference we're going to talk a bit about this project, activities perform since it started, what we have done on future actions and of course the livestock performance, the livestock platform which has added more breeds further to the initial three that started as operational group from Espogen. For this presentation we will have presentations from Mr. Jose Luis Urquijo, President of the FEAGAS Association, also Manuel Luque, FEAGAS CEO, Jesus Fontenera, Manager of Heron International, Maria Naranjo, General Manager of Wines and Gastronomy from Essex, Spain, and Leonor Agarra, Deputy General Manager from the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food. After that, we'll have a Q&A so if people here or through Zoom want to clarify something or to comment, for the ones who have connected through Zoom, I would just like to say that you can change the language so you can listen to it also in English because the press conference is going to be in Spanish. So you have an icon on the bottom and you can choose English language. On my side, that's all. So I now give the floor to Mr. Jose Luis Uquijo, who is going to welcome you. Thank you all. Good morning. I will remove the mask first. First, I would like to thank you all and thank the representative of Ministry of Agriculture, Spanish Institute of Foreign Commerce, all associations within FIAGAS, journalists and other colleagues and friends who are following this, whether on location on through Zoom from different parts of Spain and the world. A warm welcome to you all. It's an honor for me and a special satisfaction as president of FEAGAS to welcome you to this event. We are going to present a platform which is commercialization of Spanish genetics, livestock genetics from Spain is cool and as we will see in this event from Fergus we've been working for years on internationalization of our genetics but this materialized especially due to the genetic selection work performed for decades pure breeders on our country an animal improvement that would have not been possible without the effort and work of thousands of farmers and without the coordination and management of the corresponding breeders associations. Also, of course, with help from public administration throughout all these years. That's why I would like to remember this day of May 2021 as the day where it was officially presented this platform platform that is just the result of decades of joint work from everyone with a single purpose, to have our breeds to be more productive, more profitable, more competitive and more sustainable as it could not be any other way and according to current society demands. I include here of course the breeds are evolutions from the different animal species according to needs from men inhabiting territories and that's why we have different breeds. That's why we talk about sustainability because it's something society demands today but let's say that our farmers and breeds always fulfilled. This is a really important work especially because many of these breeds are more and more valued undemanded and beyond our borders. That's why we have to congratulate ourselves, all of us and especially our farmers. For those following us from abroad and who are not so knowledgeable about us, I would like to take a moment to present FIAGAS, which was the 
organization that I had it about the SPOGEN project that at its time provided this platform to make our breeds and genetics international. FIACAS was created in 1982 as a national technical representative forum of member associations in 1982, meaning that next year is our first 40th birthday. As of today, is the largest umbrella organization regarding genetic resources for breeds in Spain. This federation has all the 100 pure breeds belonging to different species within terms of animal production in our country, as it could be horse, cattle, pig, goat, birds, I don't know if I'm missing some, all of them actually, all of them are here. Organizations, pre-breed organizations recognized by different ministries of agriculture that existed, or councils of agriculture from the different autonomous regions on which Spain is divided for the development of breeding programs for different types of cattle on different autonomous regions. Within our main functions and responsibilities, we have, among others, to represent, manage, and defend member organizations' interests, both at domestic and foreign level, coordinate participation of pure breeds on contest, both at domestic and international level, and all these contests have to be approved by the Ministry of Agriculture. Also to cooperate with public organizations, university, research centers, and everything regarding preservation, improvement, and sustainable use of our beads. Spain, country that as of today represents one of the largest richness regarding animal biodiversity recognized by FAO, that made that throughout the years breeds were selected and can adapt to the wide variety of ecosystems we have in Spain. And that means that we can pupil them, we can crossbreed them in other parts of the world. So all the farmers can benefit from that genetic selection and that improvement that happened throughout the years. And this is the work that was done for Spanish farmers. And with this presentation of FIAGAS, I now give the floor Manuel. Are you going to do the introduction or is it me? It doesn't matter. Manuel Duque, CEO of the Federation, will give us more detail on the program. Okay, so we have now Manuel Lucas' presentation. As our president said, Spain is one of the countries in the world with more cattle biodiversity, and that translates on a wide variety of breeds on nearly all species with animal production interests in our country. Breeds, which is not just about the amount of production, but also about the quality of the production. These are improved breeds, and further from highlighting quantity and quality. They are also very important because they have, they are very rustic and because they are highly adaptable to different means of production and handling. All of this makes that from our point of view, Spanish genetics is more and more demanded beyond our borders. These are breeds quite often that were developed throughout centuries on the wide variety of territories and ecosystems we have in our country, and that added to successful genetic improvement programs make these breeds that are very competitive at international level. Currently, on the official catalog of uh, breeds in Spain, we have 180 species officially recognized, and over 80% are from autochthonous uh, breeds. But both in the autochthonous group and integrated group with the Spanish genetics and produced in Spain with genetic improvement program, we have clear examples of breeds that are more and more known, valued, and requested at the international level. That's why, for some time now, to provide value to the work performed 
and with that, because of its success, they were expanding, they were going to start expanding. That's why we thought about setting up this project that, as Jose Luis Ukiko said, is called ESPOGEN, a creative group that we set up with help from the Ministry of Agriculture and European Social Fund. This ESPOGEN project was the seed of the platform we are presenting on this press conference the seed of this platform to commercialize and promote Spanish genetics abroad and that we are calling life of genetics from Spain. In that sense, there was a need within the Federation and many of our organizations said so, to find synergies, to optimize resources and to work jointly to foreign commercialization of our genetics and also to provide value to the work performed by Spanish farmers throughout the last decades. And why not saying so? Also to help other farmers so they can benefit from the work developed in Spain in this field or the animal selection field. In order to do that and to set the basis of this operational group Espogen, we requested cooperation to three of the FIAGAS associations that had more experience regarding international selling or promotion of genetics, like are in the case of horses, purebred Spanish one, cattle, Asturiana de los Varios, and Cuya Gallega. And I would like to publicly thank all these three associations for the cooperation from the beginning with this idea, with this strategic plan of making us international because they put on the table all their knowledge and experience regarding promotion abroad and they were this peer so all the sector can benefit from this first infrastructure we are providing. Once this operational group developed, the platform was created as our president was saying before, this platform that fortunately we already have quite an important number of grids as of today, plus the ones from ExpoGen and the ones and the new ones. We have fifteen different breeds in the case of uh, Rubia Gallega and uh, Asturiana de los Valles, which were part of ExpoGen. We also have Abilena de Iberica. we also have the Retinta breed. We also have as part of the platform the Marina one and Manchega and Asaf regarding goats, we have the Murciano Granadina, Florida and Malagueñas races regarding pigs. We also have as part of the platform Iberian pig and regarding horses further to the Spanish pure breed, which was originally part of ExpoGen. We also have Menokine, Hispanic Arab and Arab breeds. I would like to thank also the new breeds that added to the platform. Uh, looking forward to have other breeds so we have more of a critical mass to be able to have commercial missions on the best possible way. I, I would also like to thank the Ministry of Agriculture and European Social Fund, the economic help in order to uh, start this first project so we can set the first basis of this strategic plan for making a Spanish genetic international. Also thank institutions like ESEX and some others that Professor Centenera will tell us in more detail and that were and are being really useful when setting this basis and going abroad. It's true that COVID as with all levels of our life has affected greatly on this project, especially in a project where the main pillars were about foreign promotion with commercial trips to first that had to be cancelled, delayed or went digital. Also regarding inverse missions because we also had many requests to come to Spain to know on location our farms and we had to delay those inverse missions because of all problems related to not being able to travel because of the pandemics. But as we have been saying for a while, we took advantage of this, so the results of the projects are as successful as we planned 
a couple of years ago. I'll finish my brief presentation mentioning an African proverb that I've mentioned before, but right now is really right for this. If you want to get to the destination fast, go by yourself, but if you want to go further away, go with other people. Now we're going to have Socio Jesus Centenera, who's going to give us his presentation. You know what happened in Cuba when Fidel Castro stood up and said, I would be brief, a three-hour speech. I'm going to try and be a bit more brief and have a direct presentation here. But first, this is a collective work, and second, we've done many things, and therefore, I would like to share them with all of you. First, Manuel already mentioned, and I don't want to repeat associations again, but to say that from Kruger it helped us, Aurora. Now we have Laura from Aceaba. First we had Maria Fernandez, and now we have Abel Hart from Anse. We had Pedro so from the beginning. And that team that together with Aceaba have been moving this around for two and a half years of hard work, and we have to be thankful to have joint project is very good because it's a joint intelligence from different people working for a common goal. And it was not so much an individual goal, I want to sell my breed or my product, but to have a powerful image of Spain and to transmit it outside. We also have associations, and on the map from the beginning, it didn't just help with financing for the project, and it helped to start this project up, but also participating in some of the first meeting. We had a meeting with them as a closing uh, meeting to explain what we did. And ESEX, I remember one day my got to a meeting and I said, uh, are you coming from ESEX? And she said, no, I come from New York. I took a shower and I just got here. And that's the kind of commitment we found. And that makes that when a lot of people who's intelligent and works hard, pulls in the same direction, we get very interesting things. We have three outside companies, one of them is mine, Heron International, from the part of helping and making this international. The second one is Senetica Fontau, and the third one was Visebet from the Complutense University. And I'll mention things they've done. And among all of us, we managed to get a very interesting project in spite of the pandemic situation. I have to talk about internal team as well. Some of the Feagas people came out, and Miguel Carvalho and Juan Mario Gallardo got here, both at the same time, and we said, okay, further to get in things of Feaga outside, we have to participate in this, and they had an amazing participation, and we're really thankful. The first thing we did, there was a small participation in Lisbon, and that's where Miguel went with the first roll-up with got from Lifetop Genetics from Spain. We were not sure about the logo yet, how to do it, but the personal group and we have the uh, Asturiana breed from the Valles and others, and we had the first participation. We had really an ambitious plan of uh, fair. The second thing we did was to decide not to go to uh, Paris fair with a stand. We're going to go there, we're going to have meetings. We talk with our French colleagues, both from a specific breeds and the French Federation, and we looked at all European competitors' website, Italians, English, and friends. And I think in life, you should not be afraid of being um, intellectually humbled. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can see what other people did and what we can find and what we can improve. And we were very much impressed on the approach of French genetics and how they are all over the place. They even have commercial agents in Asia, the US. They're doing a kind of task that we are not doing and the thought is, is the Spanish genetic worse than the French one? Not at all. The technical level, and I can say because I saw Anthe Sevilla uh, laboratory or Astrogen in Asturias, is first rate. So what we were missing was a bit that part, and we started at a stage of let's uh, look at people, let's have meetings, let's propose European corporations. And this year we let it go, but probably next year we will do something like that. The European Commission com invited me a couple of years ago as an expert. I don't think I'm an expert, but to analyze projects at the European level for third markets, I think there's a huge potential over there. And we started ha making contacts. And when we got back, and this is an internal joke of the teamwork, Pedro Manuel and myself were there. I said, okay, I'll go for a drink. We're very tired. Uh, the fair was long. We'll have time. And when we got to Spain, 
the day after there was the lockdown. So we have to live life moment by moment because you never know what's going to happen. And then we go to virtual fairs and we went to Safras and it was really good. Original in not a very long time from rural Spain doing things from the first wall with participation at digital and live with videos and we thought it was really interesting. I was invited as a marketing professor to set up something and I gave the example of what they do. Germans did a year on people from Austria and Germany. We talked with a lot of people and then we had also the participation in Sacramento through ANSE. It's not the same. Virtual first are not the same. But we have not stopped working, and if the idea was to provide a country, which we did that. And we participated in affairs again. They opened the Dubai Fair, and we went there. Here is Pedro Juan Mario myself with the answer stand, who is going to be there originally. But also, you can see afterwards that all the breeds and the ministry and the programs allows us to go as FIAGA. So come over and let us start moving this. There was some interest, you know what happened on first, you have a number of contacts, and then you have an image of catalog on the long term that we're trying to maintain. We've done studies, and I was saying before that we had the Senetica Fontal study, or the Visevet study, and we did a study of beef cattle and gold. And to have a platform working, we need to have a technical literature. They don't go there to see you or your genetics or your animals. They go to the platform because they are interested in topics. So we're going to fit it from the bottom, from farmers, associations, university, everything we can contribute with. Will some people take advantage of this and they will not buy Spanish genetics? It doesn't matter. The important thing is to be an innovation and research beacon that's there. ISEX also cooperated from minute one. And this is an example I did on a beef cattle market and horse market in um, Argentina, Brazil, US, Mexico. Now we started the German one. And in Indonesia, we wanted to wait until after summer to see if we could do it. And the amount of free information we provided, first to associations that were part of the groups and then others that uh, came to it, and I think it will get to everyone. And information is key. One of the keys of the platform was to sell, and the second one was to provide an image, and the third to give information. We have a strategic plan, which is a draft, which is like a budget, which is a lie. We did the base, and we say we have import-export information about countries. Let's work on that. Let's have a working document that we're going to be analyzing permanently, so we can see who, what, when, where, and why, so we can think again and again what we can improve. We have webinars, and we started with the three breeds we already had, and we started kind of shy, and some of them were a real success, with 60, 80, 160 participants from Latin America interested, to the point that we launched for our app, and we are preparing new ones, and they ask for some which should be more regionally approached for Argentina and Uruguay or France, and we're working on that line. We developed a website uh, with the integral media who work with us really well, and they're uh, still in social media, and we thought about it a lot, how we could sound, have a website, Father to Fiagas, and for the project, for Lifestyle Genex from Spain, and it's aligned with other images like technology from Spain, fashion from Spain, food and wines from Spain, so we're trying to support on the strong image Spain has as a brand to sell the genetics as well. What are the most seen contents? We see this one, but also Hispanarive, Avilena Negra, Estudiana de los Valles, beef cattle in general, goat, and the last one that got here are starting to have people looking for them who are interested. As the general media, the main source is Facebook, and then they are redirected here and they go to the website. But it's good because we're managing to have traffic. Well, I believe the big challenge is to have it from Spain, which is most of it, to have it also from abroad. We'll send from Latin America, but we're going to start having contacts in English and French so we can open it up. We have eight videos in total, and we're producing more. We started with something very discreet, a video from each of the third of the three breeds and one from Fiagas. And if it's more videos and more money, that's okay. We're going to do it from other horses. We're going to do it from goats. We're going to do it from sheep. So we're going to do some work that is going to help us to improve 
as everyone says, COVID, what it did was to have a digital trend to speed it up. We were already there because we have it foreseen on the initial plan, but we changed it. And here we have some very interesting cooperation between Integral Media and another company to see what uh, associations are doing, to have it on our Feaga channel and to live stock genetics on Spain. Let's try to have a permanent image. Let's, have to, let's try to have permanent communication. Two or three weeks ago, Maria Naranjo from ISEC say, if you send some videos, we'll share it. We'll send the documents. And that's great. The more people, the better. I invited all associations that are part of the, uh, if they are interested, they can distribute it as well. Because you know how this works, the more you are, the more they see you, the more they see you, the more you are. So we had recordings, we had interviews, we had uh, recordings with drones. We went to different places, sometimes Juan Mario, sometimes Miguel. We went with these recordings from different things we did on the social media and we started less than five months ago and so we already have five folders on Facebook we're starting having in Twitter Instagram and LinkedIn the main thing for me is not just being there is for this to generate a brand knowledge and that brand knowledge will help us to sell better and I always give the example Spanish wine sell very well abroad a lot better than uh, Romanian wines because we have a better brand but sometimes not as good as French wines, which are not very good, but because they are French, they have some extra. So that's what we're working on, first on a national part, and then we'll do an international one. We are going towards the future with the associations we already talked about. I'm not going to stop on this. And what I'm saying is we have this support. We tell our associations and society that FIAGAS the Federation is going to keep on leading. We're going to keep on having uh, support from MAPA. And support is not always money, it's to be there, it's to see what we do, how we can do it, what, what's there. And also support from me is to continue with the project that we started quite excited and we hope that it's going to be alive for a long time. As I was saying, a collective work is not from each of us, but from Spanish genetics as a whole. Thank you. After Jesus' presentation, Maria Naranjo, General Manager of Food, Winds and Gastronomy for Me6, will sit at the table and Luna Gaga, Deputy Manager of, uh, from the Ministry of Agriculture, because they are the ones who are going to handle the last part of this press conference. whenever you want. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, the first thing I would like to say is that I'm really happy that you count Essex in, in all this project. I would like to congratulate Friagas on a sporting project because of what they did in such a short amount of time. I still remember when Manuel Luque came to Essex about four years ago, if memory serves, to tell me what the project was going to be about. And although I've been supporting the Spanish companies being international for a long time, not so long with the lack of being able to represent the agro-food sector. I believe I'm the luckiest woman in the world because if there's a sector that provides a country image is agri-food sector. I'm proud to see the over 50,000 million that it has exported even through the pandemic. And something Jesu was saying, country image we transmit with the whole agri-food chain. I'm always brag about the excellence and diversity we have in the Spanish cellar and how we that excellence and diversity has an influence in our image as a country. And I believe that Livestock Genetics from Spain project, and specifically a sport gen, what it's behind, just adds a key component, which is the innovation one, and the effort that all companies that are behind 
uh, contributing with for a long time. If we have excellent meats and excellent animals, it's because that innovation effort is right there. And that enriches our country image as a growth food sector. That's why I'm so proud and so excited of being able to cooperate from ESEX on this project. Within Exportgen, there are associations like AMCE, with which we have been working nearly from the beginning of ISEX. When it says it was not ISEX, it was called INFE. And we are really happy about being able to keep on cooperating in projects. We have a mission of international journalists from the gastronomy sector, and we can say we can take them to the south, and we are going to be lucky enough to know closer not just the excellence of the food we have in Andalusia, but also the Andalusian horse. That's really wonderful. So I believe that what is going to provide international projection for livestock genetics from Spain is that depth that we need to sell more country brand. And I just want to say that we are going to be supporting, of course, on everything we can that our work has to be hand by hand with our colleagues from the Ministry of Agriculture. We're really working with them on many projects. Last year, on the pandemic, we had the Spain Food Nation campaign to support the agroalimentary image sector in the world, and that was done with the Ministry of Agriculture. And the effort of opening markets, which is so important to be able to keep on fighting against tax barriers, but especially regulatory barriers that exist on many markets where without the work from the Minister of Agriculture will be really difficult to work on promotion. On our side, I don't have anything else to say, just to congratulate this project and to say that it's key to project that image of innovation and modernity we need on the agroalimentary sector. Thank you. Now the floor is uh, for Leonor. Leonor, whenever you want. Good morning, uh, almost afternoon for everyone. First, I would like to thank, as it could not be any other way, to count us in, to count with the Ministry of Agriculture to participate on this forum where we have this platform. To congratulate from the Ministry everyone who made this possible, to give a green line for this initiative, which is both right on time and necessary to be able, and if you allow me, I'm going to remove this, to be able to have a uh, monitoring uh, task uh, and to the associations that are going to go abroad to make our country's genetics, our richness beyond our borders. After listening to the different participants, I'm going to allow myself to provide value some uh, statements about the potential of the farming production in our country and the great possibility of exporting Spanish genetics. As you all are aware of, Spain is one of the great farming powers, both within the European Union and at a global level. Animal production in our country was in 2020, more than 20,000 million euros, and it's uh, still on a growing trend, unstoppable trend for this type of production. This production and this growth has, is more and more aimed to international market. In some sectors, we are leaders, as you know, like in the pig sector within the European Union and where there have been important advancements in other sectors, like beef and sharp. And we're talking about quantity, but we also have to talk about the undeniable quality of these products. These products are globally recognized, so we need to 
do is to have them like uh, products from our breeds from Iberian pig or cheese with uh, manchego chips. We have products that are globally known. All these advancements were possible because of a genetic base that allow the right cattle production and products of the highest quality, proven quality. So for us, all of this structure is great that they grow and that helps other associations and other products with the same quality to have the same opportunity to go abroad and to follow the path some farm productions achieved. Genetic richness was already talked about, the great biodiversity and the great amount of breeds with which we which we have and that are located in all the Spanish territory with all different ecosystems we have and that also gives us the possibility of expanding to different parts of the world because we have breeds in mountain areas, on dry areas, autochthonous breeds would have live and live together on different areas. Therefore our ability to expand, our ability to go abroad with our breeds is huge. That's why we think that we are on a perfect situation to go abroad with our genetics, to make it international. Our own breeds, I don't want to forget that we have breeds that are not our own autochthonous breeds that from the outside, but got to our country, settled here and through production system and genetic improvement developed successful genetic improvement programs at the national level and are also available to be breeds that can go international. And after this, and as Spain is a diverse country and also from the administrative point of view is kind of complex, from the ministry I would like to mention for people who are listening to us how we work, how all this is organized. Here the key role, and it was already mentioned, are farmers. Farmers are themselves who, when they associate, they establish goals of the breeding programs they want to perform. That means that the very farmers are the ones with the breeding programs, demand the needs, provide solutions to the needs that exist. This role farmers have has behind technical support, technical guarantees, because they have support from veterinarians, from engineers, from genetic experts in charge of genetic improvement programs. And they are always supporting, they are integrating all improvements on these breeding programs. We also have to highlight within the farmers who supported, as I've mentioned, with the technical help, intense genealogical control of animals when they are recorded on genealogical books. The use of genetic markers is widely used, and in order to do that, it's key to count on molecular genetics laboratories where there are complex analyses and which is also a key element on, among the different things we do to have this within zootechnics. There's also great control on data gather regarding performance on performance control. At domestic level from the ministry, we have milk performance control, part of the autonomous regions, and other entities, laboratories, gathering centers, where each year about one million females participate from different species. And this data is gathered, bearing in mind international criteria from the SICA method, and therefore we see that they are really valid. We also have remarkable examples, like on the horse sector, where we have mare selections, which on homogeneous set conditions contribute with data that would allow us to know their sports performance. 
as on the case I just talked about, about milk control, the premises public administrations participate together with farmer associations is to quarantine reliability of information that is gathered when the tests are done. So it will allow to any genetic Spanish genetic buyer to have all quarantines regarding the product they're buying. In the case of a Spanish pew bread horse is a reference and further to the linear morphologic qualification and it encourages the classification of the elements to be done on a scientific base that and it's the most important breed at the international point right now. We also have advancements, not just on the horse sector and milk control, but also on meat production. There are a lot of centers all over Spain that gather information about what is needed to have a selection of animals that can produce efficiently and sustainably. All genealogical control and production control work ends up in over 12 animal genetic centers that are qualified that we have in the national territory. Most of them are renowned research institutes or genetic improvements departments from university in charge of seeing these studies so we can choose based on scientific criteria so the farmers are sure about the few the breeders they're going to include in their um, exploitation. In the last years, this also had genomic selection, which is fully developed in bovine milk animals, and it was also grouped and supported from the ministry on a genomic support that has been extended to other types of animals, both for milks, uh, for bovine and beef cattle. But all these tasks that are done through associations and farmers have a support from public administration. Because all breeding programs need to fulfill a strict European regulation. At European level, we have a common framework on all member states and the regulation applied on so technique and at the national level we also have a so technique national commission with the different public administration sit down autonomous regions and ministry to guarantee the fulfillment of the regulation from all associations therefore all the work associations perform are for the ones who want to buy or is interested to know how the quarantine from public administration, as I say, through control and audit perform onto associations. To finish, also in Spain, we have a large network of uh, gathering centers and storage of uh, breeding material that fulfill European regulation regarding animal health for this type of establishment and also in Spain, it's compulsory to apply the same requirements for domestic commerce, the same as for intercommunitary commerce. Therefore, we are more demanding than what European regulation says. Finishing in this brief or maybe long presentation uh, that I just did throughout the different stages, I just wanted to emphasize that we expect that all we did, all the associations, all what the associations did and with their supports allow you to see the important advancements regarding genetic improvements in our country. The quality, which is verified amongst them with the base of a large amount of reliable information for breeding programs that won on the one side and as it could not be any other way profitability and sustainability of farm productions and all of that makes that we have no doubt about the success of our genetics beyond our borders we are sure that we have the quantity we have the quality 
and probably what we were missing was to have a platform like the one that is being introduced today that unites efforts, that unites energies, so amongst all of us can make known which is going to be really interesting in many parts of the world. Thank you. After Leonor's presentation, we, ha we open the Q&A. If anyone on location wants to say something, no questions? Okay, then. So we would like to thank Maria, Leonor and Jesus to be here with us, Jose Luis and Manuel. And we will not like to leave without showing the Spanish candidacy for next ICA Congress, which is going to happen in Toledo, May 2023. This is very important because it's the first time Spain is going to have a Congress like this. And it's also very important because we are going to put the European focus on Spanish animal genetics. Because further to the Congress and ICAR uh, board, we're going to have visits to farms to see the work of the associations and to know firsthand all animal genetics we have with our breeds and everything that is being working on. And this is very much aligned with this platform that we are presenting here. And we could say that this is going to be a large inverse mission because we're going to have a lot of people from abroad interested about what we have here and what we are promoting. So without further ado, I would just like to thank you all for your presence. Also, of course, the one who followed this through Zoom. And now we have the video. Improvement programs, as it happens with the races Frisona and Asaf, or with highly competitive production systems with white pig breeds. There are many reasons to come to Spain and participate in the ICAR Congress that we will celebrate in the city of Toledo. Toledo is a city of encounter and welcome. Located in the heart of Spain and close to Madrid, Toledo is a city of legend. Walking through its streets and squares is an unforgettable experience, a journey through the history of the past centuries. Embraced by the Tagus River, Toledo is a city that offers its visitors a mixture of heritage, culture, crafts, and of course, a great gastronomic offer. 
Located in the historic center of the city and integrated into the wall of Toledo, the Congress Palace El Greco emerges. One of the best Congress venues in Spain that combines the beauty of a historical environment with modern and functional spaces for the celebration of our meeting. Spain is a country of contrast. Bueno, pues damos este acto por finalizado. Muchas gracias a todos, a los presentes, a los que nos habéis acompañado a través de Zoom. Y para los de Zoom, si, si queréis, eh, vamos a proyectar ahora unas imágenes de lo que se ha ido grabando a lo largo del proyecto con todas las razas participantes. Entonces, si queréis seguir conectados un ratito más para ver estos vídeos, pues podéis. Muchas gracias a todos y nada, hasta la próxima.